for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. It is your Ryan Report right here on V-103.com and on the radio, too. Good news for Sean Kingston. That's coming up. But first, Lauren Hill was late because she was late. That's right. You know, Lauren Hill uh, performing in Detroit Saturday, an hour and a half late. Boo! Then she came out and told everybody she was late because she was late. Meaning, she's pregnant. Again. And just in case you've lost count, how many babies is this for Lauren Hill? One, two, three, four, five, six. Injection, fellas. Number six. Six injections for Lauren Hill. The crowd was forgiving and she performed, but this will probably derail the comeback for another eh, 10 or 15 years. Moving on. If somebody asked you what was the most popular thing that Michael Jackson ever wore, what would you say it was? Probably the Thriller jacket, right? The red and black jacket is now going to be auctioned off. June 25th and 26th at Julian's Auctions in Beverly Hills. They want an opening bid of $200,000. He gave it as a gift to his costume designer. Also, that wig he had on during This Is It when he said, This is it. This is it. Remember that? He announced the concerts. He said, This is it. They were like, Is this it? He said, This is it. And then after they said, It's the Moxtails. Oh, okay, okay. That's the wrong This Is It. Um, the wig is up for sales as well as some other memorabilia, including another glove, a fedora, and so you'll see all this stuff, and maybe you can get it for yourself if you have lots of money. Good news and bad news for Sean Kingston. Um, I will let Fred Sanford tell you the good news for Sean Kingston. From one of the old classic Sanford and Son episodes. Sean Kingston is. <laughs> He's walking. <laughs> He's walking. <laughs> He's walking. He's walking. And breathing on his own. According to TMZ, uh, he's now breathing and walking on his own. A rep said Sean is walking for the first time this morning. He, of course, still in the hospital at Jack's Memorial Hospital in Miami. Uh, his condition has been upgraded to serious. He also has some serious issues as well. Um, can you believe it or not? He may be charged with endangering a species that lives near that bridge he crashed into. According to TMZ, where he wrecked his jet ski is the manatee area where the manatees hang out and you can't drive over there. They're saying that if he is found guilty, he could face a fine up to $32,000 because watercraft boats are prohibited from going anywhere in that area by producing a wake. And that's what his jet ski produced. So while he's recovering, he could also be in violation. According to my sources who have spoken with the manatees, they said when Sean Kingston actually fell in the water, the manatees thought he was one of them. And he actually said that one of the manatees said when Sean Kingston fell in the water, that other manatees responded by going, Mama! Mama! Think about it. It'll come to you. Eminem is not a Lady Gaga fan. He has a uh, song that he calls her a male lady. Want to hear it? Here you go. These bells are my maiden call, and I'm here, bells waiting and tell lady. God, God, she can quit a job at the post office. She's still a male lady. Male lady. And last but not least, LeBron James is a jerk. I told you he's a jerk. And every now and then, in between commercials, his jerkiness will come out. A reporter asked LeBron last night about not being able to do anything in the fourth quarter. Listen as LeBron answers and puts a little jerk in there at the very end. Listen to the question and then listen to the answer. 
and you decide. It's real cool. It's real smooth. I and mean, when you come a great jerk, you can put your jerk in there. People don't even know you're jerking them until that's too late. Here's LeBron. LeBron, three games in a row for you, fourth quarter, not much. That's the moment superstars become superstars. Seems like you're almost shrinking from it. What's going on? Um, I think um, you're concentrating on one side of the floor. And, um, you know, all you're looking at is the stat sheet. Um, honestly, I'm a two-way player. Um, tonight, in instance, D-Way had it going offensively. Um, so we allowed him to handle the ball. We allowed him to bring us home offensively. Um, you could just watch the film again and see what I did defensively. You asked me a better question tomorrow. So you ask me a better question after you watch the tape and see what I did on defense. Yes, the game. And that is your Ryan Report right here on your free money station. Well, you can see it on v-13.com. It's just me. Elle's on another one of her vacations. It's always on. Be with And if you don't know, now you know. You know.